So Antonio Alessandria fragrances are probably not very well known to you, but he's a pretty well known perfumer here in Italy. Uh, we're going to talk about his fragrance collection or his fragrance line and probably talk a little bit about fragrances he's created for other brands. And you're also going to have a chance at winning a sample set, three sample sets total of his fragrances. And this is a giveaway open worldwide, so please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian from Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. If this is your first time on this channel, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell icon so you'll be notified uh, for future videos and giveaways. And he is here, Al Antonio Alessandria, and tell us a little bit about your fragrances. Yes, yeah, sure. Uh, you prefer that I talk about which fragrance? Yeah, just tell us a little bit how, about how you got started so people find out a little information about you. Okay. Tell us you, some of the other fragrances you've done for other brands yes. that uh, people might know about and then uh -huh. tell us. Okay, I started uh, as, uh, as a brand in 2014 uh -huh. and uh, I started with a trilogy of fragrances called Homage à la Lune, Homage to the Moon, and because the moon is very close to many of perfumery. Uh, and then I added up to the collection uh, one uh, fragrance each year. Uh, meanwhile, I've also created uh, two fragrances uh, for Novina 1942, uh, Rudis. Uh, with Rudis, we have won uh, 50 awards in Russia, uh, and Malia. But last year, uh, no, this year, sorry, this year, <laughs> this year I also created uh, two fragrances for Nobile 1942 that now are exclusive to Roger Dover of Parfumery at the sixth floor of Parents. Oh, wow. Um, That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> um, now I'm going to launch this uh, fragrance. It's called uh, Il Gatto Pardo, and it's clearly inspired, uh, inspired to uh, a novel from a Sicilian writer, uh, but also uh, to a movie from Luchino Visconti. Um, this is, uh, uh, I wanted to portray uh, a special Sicilian uh, man. Uh, it's uh, a real man, a strong man, uh, but with a soft heart. Uh, so it's a cord between uh, patchouli and cedarwood, but very well rounded in, in the base by benzoin. But there's also the background. So uh, there is uh, the ancient uh, palace where uh, the Gatto Pardo lives. Uh, so it's just a little bit dusty with iris, uh, with just a little bit of uh, uh, beeswax because there's a lot of wood furniture mm -hmm. uh, that every day are cleared with uh, beeswax. Uh, there's also uh, a love for whiskey, so there's a cord of whiskey, but behind there's Sisley, my land, my motherland. Uh, and so the whiskey cord is uh, just rounded by uh, a knot of filled milk. Um, and milk. Milk, yes, oh, wow. big milk. Not oh, fake milk. No, okay. not 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 yeah, the sticky as, yeah, the stick, yeah. Uh, and uh, in the base there's the memories of uh, Sicilian pastries and cookies with hazelnut, almond, and cocoa powder. Wow, it's beautiful actually. I Thank like you very much. Yeah. Thank you very much. So what does gatto barbieri mean? Gatto pardo. It's oh, a feline. Okay. It's a feline, but is uh, the name of the novel, uh, and uh, it's uh, a feline in the coat of arms of this nobleman. Okay. Nice, wonderful. And you have uh, several other fragrances. Yes, uh, I have uh, five fragrances. This is the sixth fragrance oh. for my brand. Okay, and what was the first fragrance you created? Uh, the, first, the first fragrance I created is uh, Nacre Blanche, and uh, it's a fragrance that talks about uh, a legend. During the period of tuberous blooming, young women were not allowed to go outside in the garden because it could be dangerous for the presence of men because uh, tuberous is heavy. Yeah. So, this is the portrait of this young lady inside their private chamber, uh, the windows open so the uh, smell of tubers drifts through the window uh, and it mixes along all the smell of the private chamber. So just a little bit woody, just a little bit leathery but very soft. It's uh, a floriental fragrance. Um, it's awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's called Nacre Blanche because uh, as the uh, smell of tubers drifts through the windows, in, at, at the same time, also the light of the moon, uh, the pale light of the moon, uh, enters through the windows uh, and through a mirror illuminates uh, the white skin, uh, white like uh, a mother of pale. Mm. And Nacho Blanc 
actually it's black leather up there. I see. So you did mention there was leather here, right? Yes. Yeah, pick up the leather. Soft leather. Yeah. Wonderful, it's nice. Thank you very much. In my first trilogy of fragrances, so much to the moon, um, leather was my uh, signature mm. uh, because it was very seductive by um, a chapter of the book of um, Annick Le uh, the critic of uh, perfume. Okay. Uh, it's uh, an anthropologist of perfumes uh, that talks about the parfum des incarnés. So, uh, perfumes without carnal aspect oh, and uh, for me uh, leather and animalic notes are very important to fragrances uh, because uh, uh, they are the soul of fragrance. Interesting, yeah. beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. Anything else you want to talk about? Uh, why not? Yes, it, it, uh, it's a pleasure. Uh, I can talk about this fragrance, it's called Nuit Rouge, uh, also related to the first trilogy and uh, it's uh, uh, a black knife, uh, it's a cold knife uh, during winter, so in the starting notes of the fragrance there are some notes talking about this sensation of cold. So green and metallic notes like river, like uh, uh, grapefruit and uh, along with uh, black iron leads. But in a while the volcano I'm from Catania, so there is the in Etna, uh, the volcano explodes. So the sky becomes red. But it's a cloudy night, so you can't see the lava fountain and uh, you can only see the red blimps in the sky. So you are at the same time attracted by this phenomenon, but at the same time also just a little bit frightened. <laughs> so I wanted a contrasted fragrance between the cold sensation of the starting notes with a soft and warm heart and uh, base notes. Uh, so we call it between ice and sandalwood, along with sweat and saffron. What's that herbal note that I'm thinking? Sorry? Herbal note? Herbal, uh, I think it's the mix between uh, black iron leaves and rhubarb. I see. And what's causing it, what's giving it the metallic touch? Uh, it's uh, a special uh, notes, it's in Roma Cantals. I see. Uh, that talks about rhubarb along with fruit. Interesting, wow. Okay, what else? Let's do one more. Uh, yes, one more. Uh, so uh, let's go through last year's fragrance. It's called Eperdument. Eperdument, uh, it's a fragrance that talks about something very common in all south of Italy in the first half of 19th century. Uh, sorry, 20th century. Okay. Uh, it's uh, 900. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, the phenomenon of proxy marriages. Uh, so in that period, um, uh, it, mm, young women of the same small village were promised to marry uh, some men of the same village but living already outside oh. uh, in the US or in Australia. So uh, all these uh, almost uh, very, very young uh, girls uh, were all herded in the same uh, ship called the Price ship oh. and uh, uh, they arrived in the port and immediately they marry an unknown man. This is the story of uh, a lucky woman <laughs> because she's able to find the love of her life. Yeah. But it's older than her. So after many years she dies. And just to fill this void in her heart, uh, she tries to organize the trip back to Sicily in the same period of the year when she left, just to be welcome again from the same smell she left. I see. So approaching Sicily, always by the sea, in the old way, uh, she's able to smell citrus along with uh, wild fen aromatic herbs, uh, bath, rumble, uh, the um, uh, heavy flowers of sisley, like orange blossom, jasmine, and all is punctuated by these merry notes that recall you that the trip uh, the, was uh, in both, both sides by the, by the sea. I see. Beautiful. And thank you. Uh, much. Thank you. Um, where can people buy these fragrances? Are they available in the USA? Uh, um, I don't know this, not this one. Uh, but the first trilogy is available at Lucky Scent. Okay. And uh, finger pearls probably in other store. Okay. Nice. Um, so international giveaway for the samples. Yes. Samples Pleasure. of all your six fragrances. Uh, yes. Seven or six? It's uh, it's uh, five plus the new one, the new one, six. So six, yeah. So guys, if you want to participate in the giveaway for six samples of the 
Antonio Alessandria uh, fragrances. All you have to do is please put a comment down and let me know which sounds the best to you. Also, please put the country down so that we know where you're commenting from. And make sure you uh, have a, if you're subscribed to this channel, make sure I can see your subscriptions, otherwise you won't be qualified. Uh, and uh, please like this video, please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Thank you so much for Thank doing this video. I hope it was a good uh, turnout for you at 15. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.